In this video, we have a request. It's how to properly clean an M40 series mask. The procedure for doing this also translates over to the M42 series. Yes, I'm not wearing my normal tan gloves because I don't need them getting full of water, so I'm wearing rubber gloves for this. Now, your mask needs to come in the appropriate carrier. This particular carrier, as you can see, is designed for the M40 series mask. The carrier you used with the M42 was similar. Uh, the old style carriers would have a piece of hard plastic on each side, on the outside, the inside here, on these panels, and on the bottom of it. For the M42, there was a small hole. The canister for the M42, which went on the end of the hose, was inside the mask carrier. Coming out the bottom was a little angled uh, nozzle or piece that you hooked up to the hose from your NBC system. If you did not have an NBC system inside your vehicle, you still had that little uh, 90 degree elbow on the bottom that pulled the air into the filter and then the hose was connected to the filter which went to your mask. Now we're going to go through, we're going to clean an M40 series mask here. You need to take it out of your carrier. I've already opened this up. Remove the mask from the carrier. The mask should always sit inside the carrier like this with the open part facing against your body. This keeps the proper form on the face. Another note on this, do not fold the M40 series mask like they used to do with the M17s. If you do that, you permanently crease the mask up here and down here. You'll see those on masks that that's been done to down here on the bottom. It will bow upward, and no matter what you do, you can't get that bow out. That's because someone improperly stored it. The issue with that, when you try wearing this, that little bulge down here causes these to dip downward. When you try putting the mask on, it has a tendency to leak in this area. It doesn't properly seal. Now, first we're going to disassemble our mask for cleaning. Let our hood fall three. Bring our harness, grab it by the bottom here. Pull it over the back like you're wearing it. On each buckle here, loosen this up till you get the tab up to the buckle. Angle the tab, pull it through. Same for both sides here. <laughs> I will probably do a video on proper maintenance on an M40 series mask. I will go through the uh, steps, the, pre the preventative maintenance checks and services, the PMCS steps for the M40 according to the manual. That will be a separate video which I will try to do later this week. I might also try doing a video on how to properly don an M40 series mask also. Head harness is removed. Now we're going to go over to the other side here. We have a quick doff hood on here, the older style hood. The second skin like you see here and hood were one piece. The quick doff, it's easier to get on and off. Just take it here and slip it off. Now our canister just unscrew it. Never, ever, ever, ever get a canister wet. Ever. 
If it does get wet, you get moisture inside, you need to change your canister because what will happen, the charcoal inside here will harden up and it won't work. Now we go to our mask, flip it back over here on our lens outserts. Just feed it up a little bit here on the outside on the wider part. And now you just pop right off. Do it to both sides. Now we have our outlet valve cover first. Disconnect the drink tube from it. Lift the outlet valve cover a little bit to the side so that it'll clear these little hooks that hold it on. At the same time you're doing that, you're also pulling it out from the bottom from underneath here. Same on the other side. We have our outlet valve disc to remove this. Just squeeze it. Bring it together on the side, squeeze it, pull it through to remove the stem from the outlet valve. If you pull the stem off of the disc, obviously it can't be used. You're going to have to replace it. We have the side voice emitter. This also gets removed. For doing this, you need the waist strap on your carrier. You got this D-ring. Flip the D-ring around. Fit it in these notches. And it acts as a wrench and loosens it up. Then go through to the inside here, underneath the nose cup, to over the back of her voice meter, press it forward and out. The voice meter. Then remove the gasket. Sometimes the gasket will stick to the voice meter. Now we have the second skin. <coughs> Peel it away from, or pull it away from around the lenses. Try not to rip it. There are a couple different models on the second skins. There is a slightly thicker version of it than this. This just happens to be the one that came with the mask. Slowly we're peeling it down, flipping it forward here. You see we got to take the outlet valve, pull the second skin away a little bit so that we can clear around the outlet valve. You bring the drink tube through. Now the external drink tube on here, I will make this note, does not get removed. This stays on here. If you take this off, the mask is unserviceable. It cannot be used. Now, we just got the front voice emitter here. Bring down. And peel it off. Sometimes it gets caught here around the ring. Of the front voice emitter. If that's the case, just take it, pull it back a little bit, and then peel it up and off. That's the outside of the mask. Now we got to go to the inside. On the inside, we have the drink tube. If you can see it in here, grab it down at the bottom, twist it back and forth a little bit, and it just pulls right off the little nipple inside. Go to the side here, the air deflector, there's two little nubs, one on each side here, go down, slowly work it out without pulling off, the little connection nubs on the wind deflector. Disconnects on one on each side. 
Out here we have the inlet valve. You got these little uh, flaps on it. Just take one of these flaps, bring up the little gasket here, and then push it through like so. And you've removed the air deflector assembly. It does not get taken apart farther than this. The pieces of this, you have the outlet valve, the outlet valve disc, which is an extremely thin piece of rubber and does rip extremely easily, and the uh, air deflector piece itself. Now, inside the nose cups, if you can see in here, there is the nose cup valve discs, just like on the outlet valve discs. Reach, squeeze it in, pull them through. There's one on each side. Squeeze, pull it through. And your mask is completely disassembled now. Do not take it down any farther than this. There are no other pieces on this mask designed to be removed for cleaning. Now I'll take you over to another mask. Take you over to another mask. I already have this assembled and we'll do some uh, notes on the cleaning and stuff with it. Now, when you clean the mask, you need to have a bucket or container of soapy water. All you need is some regular dishwashing detergent, dishwashing soap. You don't use a lot of it. You want the liquid, not the granulated stuff. Use some lukewarm water, not boiling hot. So we'll take, start first with our face piece here. Oh, and I will make a note here, if you can see it, up here on the face piece, there is a size. The sizes on these masks are small, mediums, and larges. The other side will say US on it. There is a lot number down here. And another thing to point out, because this one has it, you should have this little uh, zip tie here. This was a safety thing that was put on in the late 90s because there was issues with these uh, outlet valve assemblies pulling off the masks. By putting this on here, it locked it in place. If you don't have that on there, on your M40 or M42, it's as you see here, it's just a little itty bitty zip tie that goes on there and gets tightened on. As you can see, this one's really dirty. That's why I've decided to use this one for the cleaning. This one's covered in sand and crap. So we take it to the bucket and we dunk it. Dunk it up and down a few times. Take it, swirl it back and forth. You're cleaning out the uh, sand and dust and crud that gets inside there. Places where sand and stuff likes to build up and get caught in is around the inside rim on the uh, lenses. It also likes to get caught down in here underneath the nose cup and in front of the nose cup. Now we've gone through, we've ran it through a few times, agitated it. Now we just go through, rinse it off with plain water, which I'm not going to show you, it's pretty straightforward. Rinse off all the soap. And 
and then let it kind of run off. Now, when I was in the military, we used to clean these twice a year when we did it. We had two buckets or two trash cans, one with the soapy water, the other one with just plain clean water. Sometimes they would put a, uh, what, it, what was it, like a hypochlorate uh, cleaner or something. It's listed in the manual, in the, in the tech manual for these masks. That was the sanitizing dip. We used to do both at the same time. We would rinse and sanitize at the same time. Now for drying this off, take a wire clothes hanger and we just take the uh, one of the buckles from the bottom, put it on the clothes hanger like so. Oh, I got a little bit of soap left on here. That's it. If you have to, take the other side. If you get the buckles on right, which I didn't. And then you just hang it up, let it dry. You will have to shake it out every once in a while because the water will uh, flow down, get caught inside the face piece. Now some other pieces, same thing, second skin. Swirl it around in there a few times, clean out the sand and dust, rinse it off. And then you just set it aside on a towel to dry. I'm not going to show you that. The outsert lenses, same thing. Just take them in here, swish them around. Rinse them off. The lenses, you really want to make sure to get all the soap off so that there's no film that's going to cloud up your vision. Outlet valve cover. <coughs> I'm showing you some of the pieces that get the dirtiest. That's why I'm showing you with cleaning these. Rinse it off. Our wind deflector at the assembly, clean it the same way as the other pieces. Grab them back and forth in the water a few times. Rinse it off. And then you put it on the towel whatever way you can to dry it off. You want to make sure that the uh, valve disc does not get uh, stuck to your inlet valve here. Head harness. You can put these things through a washing machine, but do not put them through a dryer because the uh, elastic bands on the harness do not react well to the uh, heat from a dryer. You're supposed to hand wash these. If these are really caked in mud and that stuff, use a soft bristle brush and uh, Brush it off and that stuff before you rinse it. If it's still stuck in there, you still got mud in there, well after you rinse it, bring it out, brush it again a few times until you get it all out, and then dry it.
And these, when you dry them, you want to hang them so that they'll drip dry good. Now, the other pieces that I didn't show you, the uh, valve discs and that stuff, the drink tube, clean it the same way. So now I'm going to dry up my hand here and then I'm going to show you the assembly and I will do some uh, notes on how to clean out the drinking tube system on the mask, which you can do before you assemble the mask. Now, I'll do the mentions on cleaning out the drink tube system. To clean this out before you assemble the mask, take a canteen with the appropriate uh, NBC cap, connect it on two here, hold the canteen upside down, squeeze it, start forcing water through here. That will clean out the soap and that stuff that's caught in here from your uh, mask dipping. <clears throat> if you don't do that, trust me, the first time you take a drink from this thing, you may not have cleaned it in months, you get that water coming through from your canteen, you're thirsty, you're going to get a mouthful of soap, and there's really nowhere you can spit it out. So make sure to clean out the whole drink system right before you do the assembly. Now, reassembling the mask. It's essentially the reverse of how I showed you, but there's a few notes I got to make on the way as we're putting it together. So, first we're going to do the nose cup valve discs. You see the little stud on this. You see in the center of the nose cup valve, you got a little ring in there. You got spokes coming off of it. Take your little nipple from the valve disc, run it through there if I get it lined up correctly yes I know the light isn't all that good I've done what the best I can right now I was gonna do this video during the daytime but I lost the light to seat it you just pull on the uh, this part of the valve disc once it's through the hole pull it up till it's seated in place and then you just rotate it around make sure that it's loose do the same thing to the other side Both of them are seated. Now we put in our wind deflector assembly. When we do this, the only piece that gets pulled through the face piece is this black part, the actual valve itself. Your valve disc needs to be on the inside of the mask. So we go through, move our nose cup down, start it on one side, Try to make sure not to get the no, the valve disc in there. There are people that have videos out there showing cleaning the M40 series mask that do not show taking it this far down. Guess what? The mask is not cleaned properly then. You do not want to use harsh, harsh detergents on this because it will break down the face piece and it'll especially break down these valve discs. Now after we got that done we got to line up. You got the little holes on each side bring the studs through and it's a pain in the butt. I'm going to line up the inside one first. Okay to get them to pop through basically get the hole over the top that little nub, press in around the sides, 
to get it to pop back through the hole. And naturally it wants to be a pain on the butt on for me right now. Sometimes you got to put a finger on the inside, keep it firmed up, and then press it through till it pops through. Drink tube. The connector is down here. Let's take it. Press the bottom of the tube, and this is the bottom. This is the part your lips lock on to, so this is the part that's going to get stuck onto the connector. Just kind of work it around there, and then position your drink tube roughly in the center there so that you can take a drink easily. Sometimes you will pull away the nose cup from around down here for the uh, outlet valve just feed it in back around the little rim here to pop it back in place flip it back over take our gasket for our voice emitter uh, now on our voice emitter there is a inside and an outside one side has four little BBs in it that is the outside this is the inside, there's no BBs. Line up the two. Sometimes you can just push the gasket in first, sometimes you gotta put them in together, it's kinda weird. Just depends on that particular mask. I put the gasket in, voice emitter in with the BBs facing out. Take the ring for the voice emitter. And tighten. Take the D ring from the carrier strap. Snug it up. Now we're going down. We're going to put in our outlet valve disc. Same like with the nose cup. Feed it through in the center here. Reach down inside. Grab a hold of it, pull it through, make sure she spins freely. Now we're going to put our second skin on. I usually start down at the voice emitter <coughs> so that you can see it here. Run the drink tube through. Get it down to the voice emitter, feed it around it, or the uh, outlet valve. Bring it up. Feed it around the <coughs> front voice emitter as best you can. Then you start popping through your eye lenses, just working it all the way around it. Go down here, Let's feed it around the side voice emitter. You can put the side voice emitter on after the second skin if you want, or you know, before your choice, whichever you think is easiest, whichever works best for you. Now we're going to put on our outlet valve cover. You got the little holes on top these little teen nubs on here get it over to one line it up and then just get it started on one side of the T pull it across to get it the other side through 
go over to the other little T nub, same way. Now it's flopping here. We just feed it in around so it's locked in place around the outlet valve. Bring your drink tube, bring it up, put it in its holder. Secure the tube. Now the outlet valve or the outlet lenses or the outserts. Just take it, roll the rubber from the back to the front. <coughs> the correct lens and then just roll it back over. Both sides. Rubber gloves are getting caught in the uh, rubber on the uh, outside of the outserts here. So go through, usually do the inside first, seat it there, then work it around. Make sure that the rubber is all the way around and is behind the lens. Now we're going to go through, we're going to put on our harness. Now the correct way this harness goes on, you have this little strap up here that goes on the outside. This little strap hangs down on the bottom. This is what you grab a hold of to pull your harness over your head. And when you remove the mask, you grab it down here, pull it up and off. You're going to seat it first on the top. Lift up the little bar underneath. Drop the little bar down. Take your tab. Feed it through the buckle. And you do it to all six buckles. Underneath the slide bar, drop the slide bar, tab in through the top, pull it in. You're going to leave this a little loose first. Uh, I might do a video on fitting the mask, how to properly adjust a head harness explain how to do that. That is its own separate video. Under the slide bar, drop slide bar. Through the top, pull it through. Bottom buckles. I start with the top buckles and work my way down. Now when you're fitting the mask, the only ones that you tighten during the fitting that you leave permanently in place, so to speak, are the top four. These bottom two, you run the strap about an inch so that when you put the mask on, you can grab a hold of it and tighten it here, but you want these already pre-tightened up here so it'll fit over the top of your head and seal the mask to your face. Now, we're going to take our canister, screw it in on the outside. The M40 series mask is designed to take NATO standard filters. Uh, they will take uh, Russian designed filters if that's all you got. I don't like Russian filters, but if it's what you have, it's what you have. These filters are the best. I'll go over that uh, later with uh, fitting and maintenance. Quicked off hood, all you got here is a big elastic opening. There is an inside and an outside. This right now is the inside. 
this is the outside. The outside has the straps on it. So when you're putting it on, you want the straps to the inside here. Take your hood. Take the bottom of it. Filter inside. Underneath. Down here. Bring it up. Bring your hood up and around. Bring it up over the top of your lenses. There's this big seam here. This goes roughly centered between the top of your harness. And then your hood is basically set. Now after we've gone through, we've done the fitting, we bring the straps over. As you see here, make sure that these are nice and flat, they're not kinked. Down, take her hood, take the straps, toss them to the inside. This is a training hood, so it's missing one of the straps. Fold in the edges a little bit, fold in the bottom, and then just take it, roll it, put it up over the top like so, and then you put it inside your carrier like this which this one has a brand new hood in it pull that out for right now let's take this feed it back in here close it up and she's combat ready Long, laborious, but that's how to properly do it, how to disassemble your mask, how to clean your mask, how to reassemble your mask. I will do separate videos on fitting the mask. I will do a separate video on donning the mask. I will do a separate video on the maintenance on the PMCS on the M40 and M42 series mask. Now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember SAONs.